So me and Elizabeth Ann Seton, when I was writing Sisterhood of Saints, which is the, the women's version of Brotherhood of Saints, um, a parish nearby was having an exhibit of relics, over 500 relics. So I'm writing a book about women saints, right? I figured I had to go to go to this this show. I, I had to. So I went and, and the priest who was in charge of the show, uh, they travel all over the country, gave a talk first and he promised everybody who was in the church, and there were quite a few of us, that a saint would speak to us. Now that seemed like a pretty heady promise to me, but he promised it. So as I walked across the parking lot to the cafeteria where there were more than 500 relics, I thought, I wonder who this is going to be. You know, maybe it'll be Teresa of Avila, or you know, I'm a writer. Maybe it'll be Saint Francis de Sales, or maybe it'll be Saint John Bosco. Um, but I was, I was pretty sure it would be a saint who who was known for his or her writing, because after all, I was writing a book on women saints, and so wandered around and you know, heard people's stories, people who were touching the relics, what had brought them to the show. And I wandered around and picked up every one of those relics. And I was probably about three fourths of the way through when I got to Elizabeth Ann Seton. And her, her relic, the Thecla actually was warm. It was hot summer night, but her Thecla was warm. And I thought, this is interesting. So I held it for a while. And Elizabeth Ann Seton said to me, listen, and you will find your vocation, which for somebody who likes to talk as much as I do <laughs> is a little bit challenging. But what Elizabeth Ann Seton told me that night was in fact true. That's what I've tried to do in every book I've written about saints. And it was especially helpful in brotherhood. Um, some of the men aren't talkers. I don't know if y'all find this in your real life, but sometimes uh, my male friends, they may be quiet, but once they get going, um, they really they really want to talk. And I, I found the same thing with this book. Some of the men, especially, I, I called them the quiet men. Some of the men, it took a long time for them to open up to me. Um, I think it's one thing to know the basics of somebody's story, you know, where they were born, when they were born, when they died, where they died, um, if they were ordained in what community, um, where their parishes were, what years they were pope, so on and so forth. Those are all important things. But to me, the important thing about listening is that if you listen long enough, every they're, they're like real people. They will tell you a story that will resonate with you and your life, and they will share wisdom with you.